Best movie ever, worst movie ever, see it, you probably won't like it. Well, Mason, I've actually brought back the return of a very popular segment. Oh, I'm excited for this. This segment is called Hate Mail, but the hate has an eight in it. Yay! Where I read seven, pi- sorry, where I read eight pieces of hate mail directed specifically at me and sometimes you. Great. And it's usually not eight, in which case, in this case, it's seven. Look. It's this the- is why we don't do it every week. It's yeah. hard to explain. Mm-hmm. No, I do. Um, I don't want to do it every week because I like to save it up. Yeah. The best. And look, I'm sorry. It's been gone away for a long time. This one is specific to my Batman Superman review. Right. We were, we were thinking maybe we'd do it for the Hateful Eight. Yes. But then that wasn't, a, that was kind of a non-star. Yeah. So I'll just, we'll we do it now. This is from, uh, on YouTube, this is from Superman Rules Batman Sucks. Great. Not biased at all, but no. here we go. Fuck you, prick. <laughs> nice. I bet this movie knocks the pants out of the pre- that precious Dark Knight movie Batman fanboys jerk off to all the time. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> First of all, you can like or dislike two different things at the same time. Yeah. It's totally fine. Ba- it's, not, it's not a real... This, there's no actual real rivalry. No. Yeah. The Dark Knight is a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. But not that's being said, I don't want everything to be The Dark Knight. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. wanted this to be the comic book version Me too. of the I wanted universe. A, I wanted a Batman who can clear a room of 20 guys and he doesn't, yeah. doesn't have to instill fear in their hearts first. Yeah. He can just punch them <laughs> and use gadgets and stuff. Great. This is from Amit. Uh, I think this is on Twitter. Uh, what can you expect from a butthurt DC hater? No surprise, I've seen your videos. You rarely praise anything DC. Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, and he's um, of the two DC things that have come out. <laughs> I kind of like one's Metal okay Steel. and one's real bad. So, <laughs> well, uh, the, the interesting thing is that we, we hello darkness, my old friend. This is from John Johns with oh. an E. One question: Does Marvel pay you to kiss their ass? No, but they should. They really should. I mean, Mac Weldon does. Yeah, I'd, they're great. <laughs> Maybe some if you could send us some Marvel themed Mac Weldon merchandise, we would definitely wear and promote that. Oh, and Audible. It's in a video that I'm doing. Audible.com slash Mr. Sunday. No, slash Sunday. Funny get into it, yeah. Mason. Look, if they you don't made... get any money for that, that's just for me. Oh man. <laughs> I guess I like Audible. My enthusiasm's somewhat dampened because I'm not personally sponsored by them this week, but they're still pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Look, if they made an Audible or Mac Weldon movie, we would go to it and we'd bloody love it. <laughs> Because they're because look, Mac Weldon would be his power would be he's naturally antimicrobial. Absolutely, That'd be it amazing. Is naturally, yeah. yeah. This is from Plugged Scope. He's got two comments. First of all, Mister Sunday doesn't like superhero movies, so I can't take his shit seriously. And then in the cop, there's a whole lot of people going, "You sure? You're saying <laughs> you're nothing for somebody yeah. else?" And then he says, "Mister Sunday's got a hipster mentality." Not liking something <laughs> most people like just for the sake of being different. I thought that review was like shockingly positive that yeah. I put out. <laughs> you even said best movie ever, in I it, which said... I feel is a grave mistake. <laughs> but what what could I do? Yeah, I back I painted myself into a corner, Zack Snyder style. Yeah. Also, I, I'm gonna have to wear that forever. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you could just sort of MMS paint over it and re-upload it. No, no it's look, too late. mate, you live with you live with what you live yeah. with. Your look, and first of all, you know, I don't feel that's a mistake for the time either. Like that's mm. how I felt when I came out. Also, yeah. I think calling somebody hipster is a very lazy insult now. It's what, what done does it as mean? Like, what does it mean? Well, like, just like, and also, hipsters don't hate things that people like. They like things very specific. First. Yeah, that's true. They like very things first. That's why and, they're yeah. hipsters. I know you guys are fans, uh, but you can't see this yet. But his bias will be uh, much more visible soon. Oh, boy. Ominous. Oh, he's had a, some sort of <laughs> apocalypse-style premonition. Uh, this is from Depressing Frequencies. This review is shit. <laughs> the movie is, was practically perfect. Best superhero movie of all time. By far. That's all caps. Yeah. I'm a Marvel fan, but DC fucking bought it with BVS. Shits on every single Marvel movie. Unbelievable performances from the entire cast, especially Affleck and Eisenberg. Holy fuck. Deserves Oscars. Wow. Maybe Oscar the Grouch into the bin, mate. Ah! (laughs) Got him. Look, you're entitled to your opinion. Yeah, but that's way off. (laughs) That's way off and wrong. Maybe you've got a brain problem. (laughs) In your brain. Last one. This is from comic 24 slash 7. Comics space slash 24 7. You're a fucking piece of spilling fucking shit, you motherfucker. <laughs> yay! I think, he yay, means, yay, yay. I think he means spoiling. Oh, okay. Because I did say, spoiler alert, skip Don't this. listen, yeah. And there's a, <laughs> there's a sign on it that says, don't yeah. listen. And then people still listened where I said, and it doesn't even spoil the plot where no. Superman kills a guy, which he does. I yeah. stand by that. Yeah, yeah. But people are still like, 
You bastard. People are mad about... Uh, there was an article that went all throughout the internet. Yeah. And, pe- and it said, Zack Snyder on why Batman breaks his number one rule yes. or something like that. Yeah. And people, even if you didn't read the article, if you're a fan of Batman, you go, oh, killing, he's, he exactly, kills people. Yeah. I'm mad, this is a spoiler. Yeah. I'm mad at the article. I'm mad at all this yeah, stuff. Yeah. But I think if you're a fan of Batman, mm. like if, you, if Batman's your number one guy, yeah. good. Good that <laughs> this was spoiled for you so you can know not to see it. Yeah, sure. If that's, if that's important to you. That being said, this is still going to make a billion dollars. Yeah, I know. Probably. Disappointing. It's going to be like the Transformers effect. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. True. You know? Look, it, if it if it pays for some good movies, I guess I'm okay with that. Sure. But you got you got one more left, DC, and then... Reboot! Reboot. Look, if you, don't, if you don't make one more good one, I'll be real mad, and I'll say I'm not going to see any more until the next one, and then I'll <laughs> see them all. I'll keep saying them because I have to. Sorry, I had to stretch back because... All the tension and anger is in my neck. It's all the umbrage. It is, it, I think. It builds up in your neck and God. you get gout. Let's go on to happier things, yeah? Yeah, let's do it. This is uh it's been a roller coaster of an episode, mate. Isn't it though, yeah. 